let's go. Mario Luigi Rush. Oh, we can do damage to other enemies. Okay, that's crazy. We've been doing this for in the past Mario Luigi games, I think. Thunderbolt. That's like a reference. That looks like a reference to uh, the Mario, Mario Battle. Game. Wait, did we see some Hey, stop that. In this sudden familiar world, it's all hands on deck for a nautical journey full of twists and turns. Mario and Luigi, Brothership! Our adventure takes place in Concordia, a world consisting of many islands. Originally a single continent, it was suddenly broken apart by a mysterious entity. Meet Connie, a kind watanist. Connie. And Snoutlet, who is He's definitely famous. not a pig. Well, With their are. new he friends, is. Mario and Luigi are ready to set sail. Oh. This is Shipshape Island, which looks like well, part ship. ship, part island. Use it as your base to sail across Whoa. the vast waters and find the drifting islands. Explore a jungle Whoa. with endless rain, Whoa. a sprawling desert, an island with both ice and Eat magma, and more. At each location, you'll meet locals bursting with personality. Idol. And clash with the scheming Zocket and his scheming pal Socket? followers. Scheming Zocket? Is that the main villain? A tiger something? Hey, Bowser. Bowser and his minions are here too? Mario and Luigi will need to use their jazzy jumps and hefty hammers oh, yeah. as they venture through islands filled with crafty challenges. Oh, doesn't seem like a jump will get them across. At times like these, the brothers can team up to perform bros moves. Oh, Fly bros like moves. a UFO. Roll up into a ball. Which is your holding mess, dude. Or harness ice and fire to forge ahead and overcome anything hey. in your way. Plus, Luigi's unique brand of logic oh, yeah. can lead to unexpected solutions. Oh, yeah. Luigi can also assist with other tasks. What a team player! You go, bro! Go, bro! Bump into an enemy on the field to start a battle. Good timing is the key it's to victory. Like mouth, Watch Mario mouth, and Luigi, uh, then press the A button or B button to attack. Fail and, uh, yeah. Uh, well, what happened? You can also dodge enemy attacks and even counter them. Enemies will attack using all sorts of tricks and traps, so keep an eye out for them. During your adventure, you'll acquire helpful items called battle blocks. Whoa. They call. What did you say? You'll acquire. A Kaboom! Surprise! This thing anti fire, anti spike, damage you. Unleashing a wave that hits multiple enemies. Shockingly great way to turn the tide. You can even set multiple battle blocks. Use powerful skills called bros attacks. Oh, bros attack. Yeah, that looks like a that looks like a good one. Mario and uh, Luigi's moves to dish out massive damage in style. The buffing and throwing his bag. Oh yeah. 
It's up to the brothers to bring peace back to Concordia. Can Mario and Luigi reconnect the scattered oh, islands and the two? hearts okay, of Concordia's that's, that's, residents? That's awesome. yeah. Mario and Luigi, shut up. Welcome to the biggest super for a four-player frenzy in each board. Here are the seven boards. Okay, seven boards. Mega Wiggler's Tree Party. Right. The paths change every time Wiggler moves. Roll em Raceway. Ride a race car and steer your way to victory. Goomba Lagoon. Hey. Watch out for vanishing routes at high tide. Rainbow Galleria. Oh, Get nice. items and even stars at half price during in-game flash sales. Oh, King Bowser's Keep. Oh. Chaos ensues when it's Imposter Bowser's turn. Wait, it's Imposter Bowser? Oh, okay, yeah, I see the red. I see the thing somewhere. In addition, Western Land Mario and Party Mario's Rainbow Castle Castle's from previous Party. Mario Party games make their triumphant I return. I call the Jamboree Buddy. Okay, that's like a Super Mario. Super from Mario copying Party. an opponent's item <laughs> to launching you across the board. Each one can help you out in different ways. Plus, if you get items or coins, your Jamboree or buddy dices? can get them for you, oh too. God. Even stars! No way, of course. Even stars Mario Party too. Mode also supports online play. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Roaring Races! There are over 110 mini-games across okay, various the, genres. The, 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 the In addition to button controls, some mini-games are played by gently shaking or tilting the Joy-Con controller. And over in Minigame Bay, you can enjoy these bite-sized blasts in different ways, like two versus two team battles. Grab your Joy-Con controllers for these three at school. Okay. Two players can wing it together to get passengers to their destinations, or have an aerial showdown by collecting parabitty buds. Three soaring activities await. In Toad's Item Factory, you'll control parts of the facility to get the ball to the goal. Work in tandem with other players by gently rotating and tilting your Joy-Con controller. 30 stages away. 30? Cook to the beat in Rhythm Kitchen. Rhythm Kitchen, okay. Four players will work together using motion controls to whip up oh, some what? delicious dishes. Embark on a culinary quest to become the superstar chef. Take the competition worldwide in two brand in Koopathlon. Koopathlon, okay. Collect coins during mini games to advance on spaces. But watch out for Survivathon mini games during the race. Oh my god. If you lose, you'll be launched backward and might drop in ranking. Can you Jesus. cross the finish line first? Wait, 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 what did drop you in say? ranking. Oh my Can you god. cross the finish line That's a first? Lot. Eight players will join forces to collect bombs and attack Imposter Bowser with a cannon. Imposter Bowser. Defeat him within five rounds to claim victory. Mini game. After each round, you'll play an eight-player co-op mini game. It's an opportunity to get a to winning. Two eight friends can team up to play online in both modes. Oh, get hey. your party hats on because this is gonna be a jam-packed blast. I wonder why it's called jam. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. State of play. Guardian of peace. You have crossed paths with men who may one day bring about order. Until then, you must adapt to the chaos and find a way to survive. So choose your path wisely. Go forth and learn what it means to be a hero. <laughs> You claim to strive for justice, but have no way to achieve it. Tearing down the system without providing an alternative is mere wanton destruction. The die has been cast. All that remains is to see this through. He's from the server. It's gonna be January 2025 for PlayStation 5. Oh my god, it looks so good. Alright, Secret of the Ghost of Tsushima. Are beyond the edge of Japan. People come north to disappear. Mount Yorte. But you, you are hunting. You still think you're Soldiers are on the same right, side. Right, another trailer. Now. Doesn't Metal mean they Gear always will Delta, Snake Eater. Politics Delta. determine who. The only thing we can believe in with absolute certainty is the mission. Your mission is to retrieve Dr. Sokolov. That's right. Are you one of Vulcan's men? No. I've come to escort you back to the other side of the Iron Curtain. Snake Eater. That's what they were making you build? Yes, the Shagahod. A nuclear-equipped tank capable of operating solo. What the fuck? If it is completed and the Colonel gets his hands on it, it will mean the end of the Cold War. Oh, electricity? And then the Age of Fear will truly begin. Whoa, A world so war. Ocelot never lets his prey escape. Sokolov was being guarded by the KGB and hunted. For my new hosts. Are we taking him with us? No, this one is still just a child. He has not yet found an emotion to carry into battle. Even if they are our enemies, they're still our countrymen. But it won't be me that pulled the trigger. Colonel! It'll be our friend, the American Defector. Aren't the ones who dictate the missions. Okay, when is it gonna release? Here's what happened.
what happened in Minecraft Live 2024. Right. Highlight. I can see everything. It's smart place. Okay, play garden. The creaking. And the mob is like the Enderman, basically, in my opinion. These more regular updates will replace the yearly summer update that you hey, might be used yes. to. Hey, I guess. Hardcore mode is your traditional Minecraft experience, except with and one life to live. Be adding... We added Hardcore. bundles to help people pack more into their inventory. Hey, someone left a map in all this XP! <gasps> Maybe there is a monster! There's no <laughs> monster! Who said that? <laughs> We're Enough excited to share some exclusive information. Okay, well, let me see. Yeah. Okay, the oh, it's actually legit. How, how the hell? We're excited to share some. Ex oh my god, look at this de Look at this detail, man. Exclusive information about how we made this movie. <laughs> This is an experience where you're gonna see to start playing. Oh, all right, have fun. Oh, oh. Catch it all in the full show. Yeah, it looks pretty great. Yeah, so. Yeah. Man, that was some crazy ass games we got to see there. We got to see Mario Age of Brothership, Mario Party Jabri, Dynasty War. Origins because of Yoti sequel because of Sima I think I saw the Delta Snake in the remake and then Micro Liar Micro Liar 2024 Liar highlights. So let's get let's begin with Marla Marla Witcher Brothers. So man, we got to see some new things uh, if I can remember what they uh, showed us. Uh, we can see that my uh, my Mario attacks and then Luigi can attack, which has not been happening in the past Mario get Mario Luigi games. Uh, and then damaging one enemy can also damage the other surrounding enemies, which is so cool. Um, and appears that they gonna be dragging all the islands they have, uh, that has been splitting up by the entity or the rifts or I don't know what's the purple thing. Um, and we get to see some bot. We get to see or know that the antares the, the the scheme is socket or I'm not sure. That, you know, I think that's like a group or something. I'm not sure about that or um, yeah, it was something like that. But um, and then we can see battle flags. I'm not sure what that is, but this, I think that's like a new new concept or like. Uh, what kind of attacks they can do, like um, the spiking ball, like uh, like uh, like Mario uses a hammer and then he spins around and then then he finally do his final attack. He's a bam. So yeah, looks pretty great. Um, I'm not sure what more I can say about this, but um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. It looks freaking awesome. I cannot wait for that game. I have been playing every single Mario Luigi's game in the past for the for the past months and complete every single one before I get to Mario Luigi's Prime. Just just because helping myself out. Like, why not? And now we gotta move on to Mario Party Jamboree. I mean, they are taking some elements from Super Mario Party because I think that's like a sequel because they say. Super Mario Party and the past Mario Party game was called Mario Party Superstars. Uh, I mean, I don't know why, but you could have just make yeah Mario Party Super Jamboree. Why not? Or just Mario Party Jamboree? Like, why not that? Uh, and then we get to see seven. And they might actually mention five uh, boards, but now it's gonna be seven boards. So two returning, one from Mario Party, which is the Rain Castle, and the two is from the Mario Party 2, which is the Western Land, I think. And then we got completely five boards. The uh, Bowser's Keep, uh, uh, Goomba Land, Goomba Lagoon, I think. Gallery, the Galleria thingy, the, uh, the racing thingy, I don't know. And then the, um, what was that? I think Magic Goomba Keep. Uh, oh yeah, Wiggler. It looks pretty great. And then we get to see this 20-player multi-mode. And then we get to see something like 
Uh, I can attack him in pass to Bowser. Uh, you can play as with eight people. Oh, I mean, of course, online only support. Uh, duh. Um, and then we get to see that uh, you get to use motion control, motion controls, which is the same as from the past Mario Party game, aka the, I mean, I'm gonna say a prequel Super Mario Party. The motion controls, like you can fly or do tricks or so on. And you ha did did you mention something that's like the rhythm kitchen, like? It's four plays together, and you get a rhythm like the ooh with the cooking and the everything. I don't know what the fuck. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty great. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty great. I can't wait. Actually, it's gonna be next release next month. I mean, I mean next week. Um, then we can see Dynasty War Origins. Uh, that looks pretty great. Uh, I'm not sure what to say about that because I have not played every single um, every single um. Uh, every single, every single uh, Dynasty War game because the only game I have played so far is the uh, Dynasty Soul War Seven. Um, there were some some familiar faces from that game I played, uh, and it's coming January se uh, six, 17, 17 or sixteen. I don't know what day was. Uh, seven, probably seventeen. I don't know January twenty twenty five. So yeah, it's pretty good. Um, and then goes to Yota. Hmm, I don't know. Female protagonist? I mean, they are. Most most games have always a, a main protagonist. Like uh, Wukong, Steve, Mario, uh, Donkey Kong, uh, um, Halo, uh, Master, aka Master Chief. Um, what more? Jack was like a dragon. Uh, Sifu. Uh, Luffy, um, Peter Parian, Miles Byron, or Miles Morales, uh, not more. Uh, God of War, Dragon Ball Z, Kakarot, uh, Goku, uh, Bleach, uh, Ichigo, as a Scree, always a main character. Uh, but some are uh, Sackboy, Little Bit Player. You name it, you name it all. It could be. Uh, there are many public games with female protagonists like uh, Samus. Um, AK Metroid, uh, Peach she has been has been in Protagonist games, um, and now this one. I don't know. Oh yeah, Ghost of Tsushima. Also, also Mario Times. I don't know. It looks okay to me. Twenty twenty five. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't think so. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty great. I guess. Uh, Ghost Metal Gear Solid Delta remake. I don't know. I have been playing. I have played this uh, uh, Metal Gear Solid: The Phantom Pain. I'm not sure if I want to get that though. So maybe not. Maybe not. I will not. So yeah, I get. I, I looks pretty great to me. So yeah. And then the highlights for Minecraft. Uh, looks pretty awesome. The pale garden. The creaking. Uh, some insights to the Minecraft movie trailer. Uh, I, so I actually thought, so, I mean, some of it are real that they made, they made the blocks so blocky. And I mean, the best take some elements that are have to be in green screen, in green screen almost have a voice crack. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty great. Um, yeah, I think that's about a bit. And I also, I have been questioning myself, like, why the hell do people want to watch my content if they're not subscribed? Like, do you not want to me? You wanna want me to make more content like on this channel, or just if you don't want to, if you don't want to be subscribed to my channel, just go away from it. Just go, just go. I don't want you. I don't want. To, I don't want to see this ridiculous number every time. Like, come on! I don't want to see this freaking number. Just subscribe, please. I'm also not clo even close to 500. I'm just I'm too close to 400. Come on, jeez. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, and see you guys in the next video. <laughs>